Today's story is an action-adventure movie named Troll. It's a story of a paleontologist who embarks on a journey to uncover nature's hidden secret. At the beginning of the movie, Nora and Tobias are climbing the mountains. Her father describes the mountains as the troll peaks as he believes that fairy tales about the trolls are true and if we follow our hearts we see things that other people can't. Nora doesn't like fairy tales but recalls the story that long ago 13 trolls who were at a wedding got drunk and lost the track of time but at the dawn, they turned into stones, and now they are mountains. His father asks her to see the mountains with her heart and she sees reflections of trolls in the mountains and gets scared. After 20 years Nora is on the Atlantic coast of Norway. She is now a paleontologist and along with her team, she is exploring the Atlantic coast. Her boss wants to return as there is no significant finding but Nora is determined. At the Dover Mountains, bombs are set in the tunnels for the construction of the metro subway. After the explosion, something comes out from the mountains and people start running. The news is transmitted to military headquarters in Oslo, about the incident in the mountains, and spy aircraft are sent for inspection. The prime minister is briefed by the defense minister he also tells that giant imprints are found in the nearby area. The Prime Minister's advisor, Andreas, thinks that they are footprints. Nora is invited for a meeting with the Prime Minister and high-ranking government officers. The photos of giant imprints are displayed. Some scientists think they are marks that have formed due to gas outbursts. Nora doesn't agree with this narrative and says that they are footprints. A lady officer, Sigrid, displays a hacked video from a cell phone of the incident, in the video a giant creature is seen. Nora is made the scientific advisor and Andreas is assisting her in the investigation of the incidents. In Lesia near the Dover Mountains, an elderly couple is having breakfast. Their dog starts barking and the house starts shaking and they hide in the underground safe house. There is a lot of noise and it seems like an earthquake. When everything is calm they come out and see that their house is destroyed. Nora and Andreas are welcomed in Lesia by Captain Chris who informs them that the footprints continue two miles to the south and then disappear. Nora inquires old couple. The man says that he couldn't see anything as it seems that they were in the shadow of a mountain only that this mountain was moving, but the lady tells that she heard a sad melody it seemed that someone was crying. Nora inspects the giant footprint then she, Andrea, and Chris in the helicopter visit the place where the footprints vanished. Nora says to Chris that they need to visit someone for more information. They reach an old house, an old man comes out and points a gun at them. He turns out to be Nora's father Tobias. Nora makes him see the video, Nora says that she came to Tobias as maybe he would have some information about the incidents as he knew the mountains very well. He says that 1000 years ago trolls lived in this area and due to the Christianization of Norway they were extinguished, and all the proofs were destroyed. 12 years ago he was about to uncover the reality but was sent to a mental asylum, and declared a psychopath as the government. Didn't want the reality to come out. He says that he wants to inspect the place where the footprints had vanished. They reach the place in a helicopter and Tobias starts examining the site. Nora Andrea and Chris think that he is mad. Nora asks him if he found something. Suddenly Nora turns around and sees an eye, it was a troll and it stands up. They all barely escaped. Chris sends the video of the troll to the military headquarters. They reach the army camp and are talking to the government. Officials in military headquarters through video conference, Tobias says that it was a troll and starts fighting with the defense minister. The defense minister gets him kicked out of the room. Nora says that they need some time to understand what this creature is. The prime minister says that there is no time and they will take military action. Nora is angry with her father and says to him that this isn't a fairy tale where trolls smell the Christian blood and turn to stone in the sunlight. Tobias says that if she was so sure why did she come to him? Nora is about to leave when his father says that she shouldn't surrender. Nora convinces Captain Chris to take them on the mission. Chris initially refuses and says it is a military operation but Nora says that they will stay low-key and will only observe. The troops reach the location and take the position, Nora, Tobias, and Andrea accompany them. They are waiting for the creature to come. Nora says to Tobias that she remembers him and her mother telling her fairy tales. Tobias apologizes to her and says he shouldn't have turned his back on her after her mother's death. Nora says that now they are together and they reconcile. In the meanwhile, the troll arrives. The soldiers fire on the troll but it doesn't work, instead, it's pissed off, and attacks back, 
Lots of soldiers die in this mayhem. Nora and the rest of them hide behind a rock, another injured soldier is also hiding there. The troll eats him. Tobias says that it has smelled the Christian blood. Tobias starts talking with it and surprisingly it understands Tobias and calms down. Some soldiers shoot at the troll and he gets pissed off and by mistake hits Tobias and then leaves. Tobias is hit badly, but before dying says three words palace, the king and home. Nora is devastated and cries. Captain Chris tells Nora that an airstrike will be done against the troll. Nora says what if the fairy tales are true? She talks to the prime minister that church bells bothered trolls and that's why they used to attack the churches. The defense minister ridicules her. Captain Chris talks to the commander and says that modern weapons seem useless to the creature and that maybe they should think out of the box. Nora has a plan, and the prime minister gives go ahead for it. In the military headquarters, they are informed that the troll is moving toward the southeast. We see an amusement park filled with people and the troll appears the people start running. At the same time helicopters with large bells hanging with them appear. Nora. Captains Chris and Andreas are in one of the helicopters. With the sound of the bells, the troll gets angry and hits the bells on the helicopters. In this chaos a kid's life endangers, but surprisingly the troll saves him and leaves. Nora tries to convince the prime minister, but with a failure of Nora's plan, she is out of the mission. Now the troll is coming toward Oslo. In a meeting with all the high officials, the defense minister suggests using missiles. Which is criticized by the commander and Andreas due to the damage they can cause. Andreas walks out of the meeting, meets Nora, and tells her about the missiles. The prime minister announces on TV to evacuate Oslo. Andrea and Nora are going in a car. Nora is looking at Tobias's notes and notices the word sending. Andrea tells her that it could be Rickard sending, who is the Lord Chamberlain of the Royal Palace. Nora remembers the last words of Tobias, the palace, and the king. She asks Andreas to take her to the royal palace. They meet the, Sinding, and he takes them to a secret tunnel. He tells them that once it was a sign of good luck to build the royal palace on another king's palace, he further tells that it was found in 1920 and once again 12 years ago. And that he regrets what they had done with Tobias, but it had to be done, and that he is sorry. Nora says that they had ruined her father's life in return she is just getting an apology. Sinding takes them to a cave that is filled with giant skeletons and tells them that this was once the home of the troll king. In the Christianization of Norway, the king got rid of anything that was against the new faith. They ambushed the king and his family but they spared one of the mountain king's children, and used it to lure him to the Dover Mountains and locked him there to die. Nora says that her father is right and the king is making his way home. She puts some UV light on the bones and they turn into stone. She says to Andrea that according to the fairy tale from the darkness they came in and died in the light. Andreas says that they have seen it during the day, but Nora says that they haven't seen it in the sunlight. She calls Chris and tells him to bring lots of UV lights to the playground. Sigri calls Andreas and tells him that the government will use missiles to kill the troll. Andrea asks her to hack the system and delay the bombing. The troll is on its way to Oslo. The Air Force pilot fires the missile but isn't able to as Sigrid has hacked the system. In a big vehicle, Nora and Andrea load a covered giant structure and drive toward the troll, and when they cross it Andrea uncovers the giant structure which is a skull of a baby troll. The troll starts chasing them. On the way, the skull drops, and the troll takes it and sees it with affection and sadness. Then it sees its reflection in a building and drops the skull and it breaks. The troll gets angry and follows Nora. Nora takes him to the ground where Captain Chris is waiting for them with the UV lights. The angry troll takes the jeep in his hands and Nora jumps out of the jeep. Afterward, the troll tries to kill Nora but Andreas distracts it by honking and Nora is saved. The troll is surrounded by UV lights. At the defense headquarter the defense minister knows that Sigrid has hacked the system, and they prepare to attack the missile on the troll but as the plane was about to strike the pilot notifies about the presence of the civilians, and the commander orders him to abort the mission. The defense minister insists on continuing, on which Sigrid punches him in the face. Captain Chris turns on the lights and the troll is in pain. Upon seeing this Nora feels sorry for it and says that it's not right, and turns off the light. She tries to communicate with the troll and asks him to go away to the mountains, but it was too late as it was already dawn and the troll turns into stone and falls to the ground. 
Nora watches the troll as his eye turns into stone. The Prime Minister and all the high officials arrive at the site and thank Nora. Andrea asks Nora that does she think there are more trolls out there. We see the Dover Mountain Metro subway construction site the rocks are moving and then there is a fierce roar and then it blacks out.